Jose Heredia with ADJ here with a quick FAQ Express. Today I'm going to show you how to import fixture profiles or SSL2 profiles that you've downloaded from the internet into MyDMX 2.0. There are two simple ways to do this and hopefully this video will explain how to import those fixture profiles into MyDMX. First off, you may either find profiles via our updated Dropbox folder or by email if someone sends you a specific SSL2 profile directly to you. In either case, the import process is relatively the same. You'll find a complete list of our updated profiles on our Dropbox folder link, which you can find in the description section of this video, or by visiting the ADJ website under my DMX 2.0 product page. For this example, let's import a profile for a new uh, ADJ Inno Pocket Spot LZR. In our Dropbox link, you'll find the profiles of hundreds of fixtures from manufacturers from around the globe. Head on over to the American DJ folder and look for the folder titled Inno Pocket Series. Once there, you'll find profiles for fixtures in this particular series. In our case, click on the Inno Pocket Spot LZR. You'll be given the option to download the file or save it to your Dropbox. Once you click on the download button, your internet browser should begin to download the file uh, to your preferred download folder, which in most cases is titled Downloads. Once the download finishes, which is pretty quick, find the file in your preferred download folder. One way to import the profile is to copy and paste the file into the corresponding MyDMX folder titled Scan Library. This will vary depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC. On a PC, you'll find the Scan Library folder under MyDMX folder inside your local C drive directory. On a Mac, you'll find the Scan Library folder under the MyDMX 2.0 folder inside the Applications directory. Once you've found the Scan Library folder, go ahead and find the folder titled American DJ and paste the profile into the folder titled Inno Pocket Series. If you don't find a folder titled Inno Pocket Series, go ahead and create one or just drop it into the American DJ folder. Once you have copied and pasted the profile, go ahead and open My DMX 2.0. You can now patch the fixture by locating the fixture profile under the Scan Library section, under the Setup tab of My DMX, either by typing in the fixture, I'm going to type in the fixture, or by browsing the Manufacturer folders and locating the fixture within the corresponding folder. In this case, American DJ folder, then over to the Inno Pocket Series folder, and then into the Inno Pocket Spot LZR. Now you can either drag and drop the profile to your patch grid, or click the patch button at the bottom of the scan library section on the lower left hand side. This is my preferred method because it maintains consistency within the file and folder system in case I switch computers or update the software. The other way to import fixtures is to use the import button inside my DMX. Just underneath the scan library in the setup tab, there's a button that looks like an arrow pointing down to a box. Click that button and an open file window will pop up. From here, you can select the file you just downloaded or select any profile in your computer's directory. Once you selected the file, the profile gets added to the folder named underscore imported or imported folder in the folder list underneath the search bar. Go ahead and click the imported folder open. Find the profile in a pocket spot LZR. and patch the fixture using the drag and drop method or manually patch in the fixture using the patch button on the lower left hand corner. And there you have it, two different ways to import profile fixtures into MyDMX. 
If you require further assistance, feel free to drop us an email at support at americandj.com or call us at 323-582-2650. On behalf of everybody here at ADJ, thank you very much for watching this video.